Welcome to It's Your Case, presented by VetCT.com. I'm Amy Zaltzman, your radiologist on demand for this week. We continue with this month's theme of Skulking Around, where we look at head and neck radiographs. In this series, we have two lateral views and a ventrodorsal view. Let's take a look. Today's example is a five-year-old female spade Maltese who was transferred for continued care following an attack by a larger dog, also known as a BDLD or big dog, little dog. The owner reports that she was attacked by the neighbor's Rottweiler earlier in the day, and her vet reports that she has been vomiting blood. She was completely normal prior to this event, and sedated oral exam at the time of this radiographic exam reveals a large laceration between the base of the tongue and the epiglottis. Part of the hyoid bone is visualized. There is marked soft tissue swelling ventral to the pharyngeal region with reduced oropharyngeal air space and marked emphysema in the region of the pharyngeal area. And this would be consistent with the reported lingual base laceration. On the right lateral view, there is apparent separation of the epihyoid and serratohyoid bones. This raises the concern for a fracture or disarticulation of the hyoid apparatus. On the ventrodorsal view, we observe the emphysema and we see that it tracks into the right side tissues, delineating some of the fascial planes. For this patient, we have marked peripharyngeal soft tissue swelling and emphysema consistent with the reported lingual base laceration. The separation between the epihyoid and serratohyoid bones confirms a hyoid apparatus disarticulation which can result in laryngeal instability relative to the base of the skull. Also of note on the right lateral view is a small amount of soft tissue swelling in the region of the orbit. However, this is not confirmed on the ventrodorsal view. This soft tissue swelling adjacent to the one of the orbits may be secondary to a mild degree of obliquity as we observe the processes of the mandible as they are not perfectly aligned on the lateral view. The pharyngeal changes are consistent with the reported traumatic injury and disarticulation of the hyoid apparatus. The hyoid apparatus serves as a dispensary mechanism for the tongue and larynx. The presence of this disarticulation may result in laryngeal collapse and therefore severe dyspnea. Surgical consultation would be strongly advised for this reason, and it should be noted that the circumstance of BDLD injuries, that the crushing component can result in tissue morbidity that takes several days to declare itself, complicating this case further. Further imaging can include CT of the head and neck, as well as teeth baths that might help with monitoring changes in the thorax images that are included in the larger report be sure to view the full report associated with this case as there's more to learn. Thanks for listening, and remember, it's your case, so please post your questions on social media.